Hi everyone, today I will show you how to fix Modern Warfare 2 the application has unexpectedly stopped working problem. Before moving on to the video, you can support me by liking the video and deliver this video to people who are looking for this video like you, let's start. Our first solution consists of two stages. In the first stage, I will show you what we need to do before entering the game. Our first step is to turn off Windows Defender Firewall. To do this, we come to the search section and open the control panel. Then click on System and Security. Click on Windows Defender Firewall. Click Turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. And we turn off Windows Defender Firewall. Our second step is to change Modern Warfare 2's graphics preference. To do this, we open Settings. Then click on Gaming. Click on Game Mode. You can also turn on Game Mode. Click on Graphics. We scroll down and find Call of Duty among our apps and click on Options. Then we select High Performance and click Save. If we don't see Call of Duty here, we don't need to worry. We can add Call of Duty manually. To do this, we click on Browse. Then you need to open this file location. After opening, we select COD.X and click Add. Don't forget to set it to high performance after adding it. Our third step is to change the compatibility settings of Modern Warfare 2. To do this, we right-click on Modern Warfare 2. Click on Browse Local Files. We find COD.X and right-click on it. Click on Properties. Click on Compatibility. Then we tick Disable Full Screen Optimizations. We click Apply and click OK. Our fourth step is to delete anti-cheat programs. To do this, we come to the search section and open the control panel. Then click uninstall a program. After doing this, if you have anti-cheat programs such as Riot Vanguard, Face It Anti-Cheat, and Easy Anti-Cheat, delete them. We have completed the things we need to do before entering the game. Now let's move on to the steps in the game. In the second stage we will turn off some graphics settings. Our first graphics setting to turn off is on demand texture streaming. Our second graphics setting to turn off is NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. Our third and final setting is shader quality. You can also lower your other settings. I just showed you what you definitely need to change. This was our first solution. Now you can check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem is not solved, we will move on to our second solution. Our second solution is to downgrade to the old version of our video card driver. To do this, we come to the search section and open Device Manager. Click on Display Adapters. Then right-click on our graphics card. Click on Properties. Click on Driver. After doing this, we click on Rollback Driver. If you can't click Rollback Driver like me, you'll have to manually download the old version. To do this, we open NVIDIA's site. I will put the link of this site in the description section, you can enter the site directly from there. After entering the site, we click on download now. We open the driver. We click OK. Click on agree and continue. We choose custom and click next. And finally, we tick perform a clean installation. After doing this, you need to click next. Unfortunately, I will not be able to do this because this process removes my video card and reinstalls it, so video recording stops during the deletion process. After downloading the old version of your video card, you can check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem is not solved, we will move on to our alternative solutions. Our first alternative solution is to verify the game files. Our second alternative solution is to close applications such as Razer Synapse and Xbox Game Bar running in the background. Our third solution is to turn off the overlay feature. Apps like MSI Afterburner and Discord are overlay-enabled apps. Make sure that the overlay feature of these apps is turned off. Our fourth alternative solution is little interesting. Someone on Reddit solved the problem he had in Modern Warfare 2 by deleting Warzone. If you have Warzone on your computer, you can delete it and try to solve the problem. We have come to the end of the video. I hope one of these solutions fixed your problem. If the video helped you, don't forget to like the video. You can also subscribe to my channel to support me. Take care, and see you in the next video.